This episode is sponsored by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick up your tees and our accessories at zenroclothingco.com and be sure to use offer code SOCRATES at checkout for 20% off select items. Also, if you're not into uh, spending the money, just check out the Zenro Radio playlist. ZenRailClothingCo.com, music for your everyday. This episode also is sponsored by The Pornian Bakery. If you're located in the Pornian area of Scarborough, Toronto, be sure to check out The Pornian Bakery, say what's up to Arvel, and uh, pick up a donut or two. Bake daily, crafted with love. This episode also is sponsored by Podbean. Podbean is the podcasting platform of choice. It's the one that me and Vish use, and um, is great, you know, if you're uh, looking to start that DIY podcast yourself definitely check out podbean use uh the link podbean.com slash socratic gamers and gain one month of unlimited podcasting for free test it out build that content uh anyone could podcast right vish yep start a start a podcast and uh get your ideas out there all right enjoy the episode all right uh instead of jumping to the obvious elephant in the room this week i thought we'd start off with something that's relatively related but more entertainment based uh don't look up you finally check that out this week what'd you think yeah i've I, I been week. talking about it for the past two podcasts too so i was like yeah it was like yeah yeah was, i ended up finally watching it yeah last last week and what, what'd you think uh it was really good i know right like the satire mm-hmm. and like um it's so, very very heavy with the satire like almost every minute of it right it, oh, totally and, <clears throat> and i feel like uh it's like uh similar to grand theft auto you know mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. that like level of satirical play on what's going on in society right now um although although you can like link it to i guess like covid obviously but it was actually written about climate change so like i yeah. saw some um some like leonardo dicaprio interview or something and he was talking about like how it links to climate change they use like the asteroid as an analogy but um yeah it's about like how the media just like chooses to pick the things it wants to focus on and like folk get, get like the clicks and like all that stuff what yeah. would you gather from it um well yeah they're all um well you said in america they're like private institutions or like um money making right so Type of the news? Yeah, like the oh, news, okay, yeah. like the media and stuff, right? So, you know, like, you can tell that. You can even see the formats of how morning shows are done. Right, <clears throat> right, 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 To be right. more, like, uplifting. Right. Not necessarily filled with Actually, doom and gloom. Dude, that's so true. Because remember, they're like, oh, we're, we're not trying to make this sad. Or, like, when mm-hmm. he's like, oh, we try and take the sad things and make them positive. Because mm-hmm. he's like, why are you not focusing on this? This is a serious issue. And he's, like, going right, crazy. right. right. What, what do you think of uh, Leo's depiction in it? I feel like he's in the beginning. It was really cool how he was doing like the screaming scenes, but it's almost like you expect it from every movie now. Like once his once his like burst up, yeah, 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 you know, he did like Django. <clears throat> um, he did it in Wolf of Wall Street. Um, mm-hmm. Did it in this movie. Mm-hmm. He's he's just like known for it. He had like micro bursts throughout it, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. then like the the one call, remember I was like, oh wait for that one scene. It's like because you saw one in the beginning. I'm like, no, no, he goes off in that one one morning show. When part. he goes back on, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's like screaming at the top of his lungs, and like it was like he was going off. But, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he's into climate change, right? Like in his personal life too, right? Yeah, so, totally. Yeah, so he's a big sense. supporter of it. Yeah, and. I don't know. I just, I wonder what it's like when you know too much inform. Well, I guess, I guess we do <laughs> know, like to to some degree of like <clears throat> things we're focusing on. But wow, well, there's so many parallels to the major topic or the major thing that happened this week. But I'm trying to save that. Um, but when when you know so much about something and then you see like all these people being crazy about it, like he must actually feel like that character who's like screaming at the top of his lungs, like trying to get people to pay attention, but they're not paying attention, you know? Right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Like, like studying his, his, um, activist life. Because when I worked at like mm-hmm. those other companies, like he was, he was like the prime example. Like they kept bringing him up Right. Yeah. when I was like working for nonprofits who were like, Focus on well i'm still working for a non-profit focusing on climate change but, <clears throat> but the <throat> first one that i worked on they were like always talking about leo's like initiatives and but i was like 
he's an actor. Like, what does he know? <laughs> you know, from, from my own perspective. Well, it's not it's about what like, he knows. I think it's just like he wanted to get to know the stuff more, probably like early on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like by getting involved in in the stuff, I don't know what he's done personally. Like, I don't read all the stuff about what he's doing, mm. but he's been involved in the climate stuff for a long time. That that we know for sure, right? Yeah, so that's like, not something gives, that gives talks at UN and stuff, and like. But do do you think? Do you think there's like also like an information bias here? Like if he's searching out that specific information, is he being swayed in that direction? You know, it's like, oh, climate change is really bad. And then he's just like confirmation biasing. You know, he's like, oh, I'm meeting all these scientists who are telling me I'm correct. Mm -hmm. what about, like, do you also look at the opposite side where you're like, maybe I'm wrong here? Because there are also like scientists that talk about how climate change happens all the time. Like it's a cyclical thing within the earth. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. And they're like, well, there there are, but like in 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 the general sense, it's like a conglomerate of scientists agree okay. that there is climate change. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's like in that leaning, he's focused. But I don't know what he's doing specific to climate change or like studying. I mean, yeah, like specific. To climate yeah, change. yeah. 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 Like, or he's just in the general concept of trying to spread that message of climate change. I don't know. Like for people to wake up <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Okay, you know, I'm just going to jump right into it because uh, we keep <laughs> dancing around the topic, but uh, lockdown two, mm -hmm. or no, three, this is number three, right? Um, we had the first one, 2020, we had another one, 2021, like a semi-lockdown, No, that I don't, is our third lockdown. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess you can say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the beginning, uh, then they opened up a little bit in the summer, then closed again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, so there's a third lockdown. Yeah, you can say a third. Okay, so... Um, so speaking of like the parallels, when I watched Don't Look Up, I thought it was about COVID. Like, mm -hmm. cause I guess that's what, but I guess the, the ideas are like very parallel to climate change. Like it's like all these people are focusing on specific things and we all have our ideas, but you know, climate change is one of those things that's, that's like kind of years away. It's very <laughs> like slow to get here. Right. But like with, with COVID it's, it's like more direct in our face because like it changes daily mm -hmm. you know like every day i wake up and like scroll social media it's like mm -hmm. okay what is the new thing that we're yeah. gonna have to focus on right and i wonder like like okay we we talked about this offline but it it's not even really like a health issue anymore you know it's like a systemic like a systems-based issue at this point yes at this point <clears> right <throat> at this point. so like in, in the beginning of course you know like we we were worried about you know people dying because mm -hmm. we didn't have a vaccine yeah. and the vaccine came and we all like fell in line you know we were big proponents of it mm -hmm. you know like that's one thing tara was saying she's like oh you were the biggest like um pro vaccine person i was like yeah because the data was there it's like it's pretty evident but if you look at the data again for like the boosters i'm like not on i'm not on the side of booster right now because like the data is still showing me it's like it's not well i wouldn't say uh, i don't want to say like that necessarily maybe like not for 18 plus maybe like 50 plus or f you know what i mean like like the booster yeah okay well why <clears throat> just for purpose of antibodies right so because we know about the waning situation i'm okay. saying that it's not necessarily for every person because younger Wait, group it's not it's not <clears throat> okay so so i realized this last night and mm -hmm. i wanted to bring this up there's a difference between um because you know like the figure that they're bringing up uh, I wrote it down. Hold on, let me let me open it because it like it tripped me out because I was like, how come we're all focusing on the seventy percent um, of catching COVID, right? But my my percentage was zero point zero 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 six percent of dying from COVID. So I was like, how come they're not bringing that up? And I realized, because it's not about dying anymore. Right, right, hold on, so 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 the the seventy percent is about catching COVID versus the severity of COVID. Yeah. So we're not focusing on the severity. We're focusing on catching it. Yeah. And if you actually look at the the data on the efficacy of a booster with regard to severity, they're pretty close. So it's like the the booster, like like the, the you mean the death? It, You're talking about the death, the death, yeah, the death of and course. The hospitalization. Yes, that's so not going like, to change, right? That's not going to change. Yeah, right. So it's like so. What we're really worried about is catching it, not mm -hmm. severity of it, because the severity is pretty equal. Mm -hmm. So if the severity is pretty equal, well, the protection we, from the severity is equal. Yeah. So yeah. so why? Are, well, it's not equal. I mean, there's a zero point zero. Yeah, but zero, it's, zero, zero, it's, it's literally just zero. It's like it's a null null variable. Yeah, yeah It's like yeah. It, you don't even need to pay attention. It's so 
so small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So, like, so if, because the, I'm, I'm hearing so many arguments about this. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, it's like, it'll protect you, right? But I'm like, but what do you mean by protection? You know what I mean? Like, what do you okay. mean by protection? That's my question. Because mm-hmm. everyone's like, oh, you're 70% more protected. If, they, if, if people have. think it's protecting you from dying with the third booster, then that's that's wrong information that's what i'm saying and yeah that's, if it's that's protecting you are telling me right and if it's so if that's the information that people are getting then they've done a bad marketing bad job at um uh, uh yeah basically Just disseminating the information yeah yeah so so like okay so my my mom and sister are both nurses mm-hmm. and they're like oh you should get this thing because it it like protects you 70 percent and i'm like but the data is showing me that you the it's pretty equal in terms of dying and then that's when i had the realization yesterday i'm like no they're talking about catching i'm talking about severity Mm -hmm. so it's like if the severity is basically equal who cares about catching it then because i know i'm going to be safe either way yeah they don't want to um it's it's not the I wouldn't say it's necessarily the ICU. It's the point of now hospital beds right. being used up, right? To- totally. So that's but, what but, but the severity, would happen. But the severity of having to go to the hospital is almost equal to, is again, 0.002. Oh, no, that's about death. Um, the the hospitalization is also really close. It's not four zeros off the decimal place. It's three zeros. So it's like... 0.05. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. again, it's but, uh, zero. Yeah, 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 but you're going off the one study, right? So I, whatever yeah, but, they're okay. looking at and doing, I'm, I'm just saying that yeah, they yeah. want to prevent, what they want to do is prevent more hospitalizations. Right, right. right. But, but just, if you... Because we know that it's still going to be more, right? Right, but m- remember the thing that uh, Wob said about like most of the hospitalizations are unvaxxed people. It's like, yeah, that makes total sense because they're not protected at all. Most of the ICU. I okay, wouldn't say yeah, hospitalizations. Yeah. Okay, but, but the hospital beds, but he was saying... He was saying that also with that, our immunity wanes when, yes. we, when we get the shot. It's like a little lower until it kicks back in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So yeah. Like, well, it's building the immunity, right? Right. So is that the reason why? Well, it's already waned, right? After six months, it's already waned down. Okay, but, okay, but by how much? It's like I know so many people that have it now. So many people with double shot yeah, were yeah. fully vaccinated. Sure, that's why they're trying to... So I'm like, what are we talking about? And none of them went to the hospital. Yeah, so, I know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A know? lot of them are younger people like us, right? Okay, yeah, but it's like, but then why are you going to That's why I said, like, globally? it's not... That's why I said, like, the booster may not necessarily be for 18. Like, I would say 30 and less. But, but you know now, what I'm saying? Or like 40 or less. Totally. So that's but, what I'm saying. But now my question is, why are they... Why they, one, purchase so many doses of it? Because there's a down payment, mm-hmm. obviously, like... Oh, what was that thing is like they they purchased like they they ordered like put down the order for like six hundred million I think you said, procured right? six hundred million doses yeah but there's only thirty eight million people in Canada something like that mm-hmm. but in order to procure something it's not the, I don't think it's probably like if there's so at this point we know that COVID's going to be here for a few years definitely yeah, yeah yeah I think it's indefinite yeah like, it's so be here forever either it's the procurement of doses from for these the as the they. As they, um, yeah, as they evolve and make um, variations to the to the vaccine. So, so do you think it's like sort of like um, procurement of the flu shot? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. Kind of like that, I think. Okay. More like being prepared in case, right? Versus not being ready. Because I remember, like in the beginning, it's like they were yelling at Trudeau, like, "Why didn't you procure?" earlier because even though right. we're even though we were, were still the early i would say in, in out of all the nations we're still in the top like a top list but we weren't yeah. the top one okay, so yeah. like they were attacking him for that <laughs> but it's like but but now but now the other thing has become like all right so you've procured so many now you're like oh now i need to use it not necessarily no no but but then why are you going off on because you don't have to necessarily use it right if if they um uh at this point also get uh, I think I don't know if it's a Merck medicine, like the one that's the tablet form, right? So yeah, once that comes in, so, so, so we'll, there's we'll, a, we'll talk about that. So, yeah. um, but before we go into the the tablet, mm-hmm. um, just because you, you bought it doesn't necessarily mean you use it, right? So no, a lot of a bit, but, yeah. but you still spend money on it because procurement. I'm sure there's a down payment. You sure, I'm, like, I'm sure there's some percentage. I don't know. I don't. I don't like everything about it. But like for instance, it doesn't mean that you have to use it, right? Totally. totally. So like what happened with uh, AstraZeneca? To- totally. Totally. totally right? but, but what I'm saying is. How come his rhetoric is so severe now? Like I was showing you the video of um, him being like, "Oh, 
anti mm-hmm. vax mm-hmm. people are like racist, misogynist. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, why would you like lump them in with that crazy? Like, the, like why would you make such? I don't a know why. Statement? Yeah, exactly. And it's like we're probably the one of the highest nations vaccinated. Yeah. So why why are you going to say that the remaining twenty percent? And it's and he's are, wrong in saying that because it's not being spread necessarily from unvax. It's also it's spreading from people who are vaxxed. Ex- exactly. So it's like, why are you blanket statementing mm-hmm. in such a negative way? People are unvaxxed. Yeah. Like, it's like, I mean, granted, if you go back to our old podcast, we're also like very pro vax mm-hmm. But it's like, at this point, the people that have decided to not take the vaccine are yeah. not going to take the vaccine. At this point, yeah. In. That's what I'm saying. At this point, uh, that, that, that's not going to change. And, like, and the mandates may have helped people who were on the edge. Yeah. But now, at this point, <laughs> it's, it's if they like didn't get it then, they're not going to get it now. Take, yeah, exactly. Like, there's nothing that's going to change, especially yeah. the fact that Omicron is like lessened in severity. They're looking at that too. They're like, okay, well, if it was deadly before, it's less deadly now. Why yeah, actually, it it's now? an interesting point too. Even with the Omicron, we don't. It's less deadly for people who are vaccinated, because that's who you're mainly looking at, right? Yeah, it's, we okay, don't know what sense. the actual severity is for people who are unvaccinated. Because most people are already because vaccinated, most people so are vaccinated. Like, okay. Yeah. I'm sure there's a study for that, though, but... It's hard now because I mean, a lot of people in the world have got vaccines, yeah, right? Yeah, so, so that's why. Yeah, yeah, because you're, like, tapping into, like, a small pool of people mm-hmm. to, like, find out their information. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so... But what freaked me out is the Quebec guy was, like, he's considering making three vaccines mm-hmm. considered fully vaxxed. And I'm like, okay, now we're just pushing it up for <laughs> what? What's the purpose? Yeah. You know, it, it's, it obviously didn't work. You know, we we created these vaccine mandates where it's like you need the passport, but then how come it's still spread around? Mm-hmm. Because vaccinated people can still spread it. Yeah. So that was a lie. You know. Remember they said like the reason why it was. I don't so, want to say it was a lie necessarily, right? Because miss it was, it was incomplete information. Yeah. All right, there. Fine. I'll go. We'll go with that. Yeah. Incomplete. Because I don't think lie. necessarily it's a lie. It's like. These are things happening as we go, right? We're okay, fine. Fair, fair, fair. So wh- why are you going to look at it now and be like, let's consider making three vaccines? Because mm-hmm. it's like, okay, well, it didn't work. Right. You know, if, like you and I were on board with the vaccine things. They said, mm-hmm. one, you can't spread it if you're vaccinated, which turned out to be not true. Mm-hmm. And two, it's like, it's like this will help slow the spread. Mm-hmm. Like it, it'll protect, basically it'll protect other people and it'll stop... Um, me from getting sick. Both those were untrue. I can still spread it, and I can still get sick. Yeah. So why would we mandate it? Yeah, that's why it doesn't understand. make sense at this point. Yeah. And but but if we do mandate it, to me, I'm like we've we've fully shown that we are a crazy species that doesn't pay attention to science at all. Like you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. if to me, this is how I feel. Yeah, it's like all the data is showing you you're wrong in your decision. Yeah, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Um, it may be true with that what you're saying with the science, but it's uh, it's people. It's the I don't know like what is the overall percentage that's there. Uh, you know the extended percentage of people being hospitalized, right? So okay, if that's what they're preparing for, then it's not necessarily it's not COVID. That's the issue it's the system that's the issue so that's so, that's where so then so then what you're doing is you're forcing vaccination in order to fix your systemic issue mm-hmm. which is we didn't pay our nurses enough and we didn't invest in our healthcare system yeah. as much as we should have yeah so it's like maybe you shouldn't spend the trillions of dollars getting everyone vaccinated because at this point it's like it won't kill you mm-hmm. like even if you go to the hospital it's like how how bad like i don't even think they're doing like Sure, there's some cases of ventilation ventilators, but like, is that commonplace now? Remember in the beginning, it was like, no, oh, I don't, I don't know what everywhere. the what the commonplace is, but they, uh, it, like, even with the Omicron, it's, I don't know what the age group is, but potentially two days in hospital. Okay, so right, cool. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but if you don't, if if the reoccurring numbers are higher, no, but but okay, you won't have enough, right? Totally. So the, that that was the reasoning. My, so if my, oh yeah, so like for instance, the two weeks they did here in Ontario, and if they if this doesn't help, if they keep extending it, then it, like there's a problem. Extending which? Extending the lockdown. Yeah. Okay. That will cause um, Ma- more yeah, major yeah, ramifications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, and like like I think recently they're like, oh, we're gonna 
push forward for teachers to get vaccinated so they want to try to bring back schools but oh, like why didn't right. you do that during christmas yeah or or you know because don't they still need 14 days to like reoccur or bring up like, the bring up the, immunity. the yeah, yeah antibodies or something to build up the antibodies so it's like so, so but, that that's what i mean it's like why yeah. so i think that like that's what i'm hearing like a, there might be a rolling return meaning like for school wise like high schools okay the rolling return of high schools then eventually like elementary schools but, and stuff but but we also have to think about it like this like when you lock something down they offer um they offer like like lockdown benefits mm -hmm. they offer bailouts for businesses mm -hmm. not bailouts but like financial yeah, yeah, yeah. support aid. some sort of aid, yeah, aid. right yeah but like all that money could have been used towards upping your healthcare system earlier yeah right that makes no like it's crazy to me mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. if if it's a hospitalization issue issue like all right you're not going to die you're just going to go there yeah okay so then why don't you just invest in more you know and like right. the the plight of nurses you know because i see it like because my family is a bunch of nurses mm -hmm. and they're like yeah they're just overworking them and they're like yeah. oh we don't want to pay you extra because you know you're kind of over your overtime and like we'll try and find somebody who could pay less it's like okay but if you need these people like pay them mm -hmm. you know and and that's what's making me go nuts about this whole thing it's like we've moved away from health and onto health care yeah it's the system and it's like yeah okay so you're you're making me go through something with potential risk mm -hmm. because now now they're finding out that there are risks associated to the vaccine i mean obviously they're small but at the same mm -hmm. time it's like you're still risking something because oh, for, for example so like people are like oh you know 65 kids died of covid mm -hmm. like what if it was one of your kids right mm -hmm. but then like 1200 people died of the vaccine it's like well what if you're the one of the 1200 so mm -hmm. it's like which which data are you going to cherry pick yeah, yeah. which are you going to focus mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. you know to like support your argument if we look at it equally it's like death is death then mm -hmm. but it's like you know what i mean it's like i'm going to ignore the fact that 1200 people died of the vaccine because i care about this one kid because my stance is that vaccines are important but nobody's looking at it objectively yeah and then the people that do look at this whole thing objectively are considered crazy <laughs> or like well because that's, that's the rhetoric that's happened now right so uh just they're lumping everything into an anti-vaxxer or not but we're not I was, I was about to say all right this is this is also what makes me crazy so like <laughs> people people like like close to me calling me anti-vax and i'm like guys i have two vaccines like what are you talking about anti-vax it's just i'm just like show me the data for the booster i don't see it like you showed me the data for the vaccine so i like okay that makes sense i'll get it but like booster what mm -hmm. like if again it's like you're you're talking about catching covid i'm looking at the severity who cares if i catch covid because i know that that even if i have three i can still catch it the funniest one was um hugh jackman he mm -hmm. got the booster and he made like a big deal like oh boosted right and then he posts on social media hey guys i got covid <laughs> and i'm like come on bro like and he's like yeah it's like flu symptoms blah 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 and then people are like yeah well that third dose helped him you know it, it made the severity less i'm like no they're almost equal if you look at the data the severity are basically the, the severity same. is not there but uh or uh, you mean death you're talking about severity isn't death severity, or severity like hospitalization rate and death rate are really close mm -hmm. for both mm -hmm. for two and three shots so like what are we talking about here you know he's still talking about how he had flu-like symptoms he had a cough mm -hmm. it wasn't like he's like oh i tested asymptomatic yeah. it's like yeah, that's why sick. i think at this point like it's Bro, three shots like nothing i don't think anything in america is under lockdown at this point this is it's i don't think it's a pandemic anymore it's an epidemic like it's, it's endemic, you know? or endemic it's yeah. coming down like it's just like a flu and stuff that's, yeah so that's, why are we freaking out yeah we're freaking out because it's not a health issue it's a health care issue mm -hmm. okay so here's the other thing that we i paused you for the um the uh treatments now so why are we going to focus on giving people okay so okay so here's here's an argument i got so they're like it's just because you're afraid of needles i'm like no i will get it if i have to get it mm -hmm. i just don't want to subject myself to something because i was like oh I'll, I'll just take the uh the pill that they just approved right so basically now if you get covid and it's starting to get severe you take the pill and it goes away yeah like 89 percent efficacy uh, yeah okay right it's sort of like uh like a flu 
my sister said it's like some they have it for the flu too if you have like the flu and it's getting really bad just take this one thing and it'll go away Mm -hmm. um so so with that it's like i was like yeah i'll take that and they're like oh you'll take that but you won't take the vaccine i'm like no i'll take that when i need to take that Mm -hmm. so if i have covid and i'm like oh it's starting to get bad i'll take it i'm not like taking it daily to protect myself it's like it's like a worst case scenario thing if Mm -hmm. i can't take the symptoms of covid then i'll just take that thing so it's like how come we're not focusing on alternate solutions right well i would say that they would be once they're approved right right but but let's also remember that because they're approved in america i think right right but but let's also remember that pfizer made like eight eighty billion dollars last year so it's like is that playing into it you know is is there something there like you know like the the moderna guy came out on social media was like hey we might need four doses Mm -hmm. and it's like (laughs) this is this guy on social media he like messaged me because i posted that and he's like um if you go to the used car sale uh, if you go to a car salesman they'll always tell you you need a new car even if you just bought a new car right so it's the same thing it's like he's he's selling his vaccine of course he's gonna tell you yeah you should get four Mm -hmm. right uh depends not not necessarily true right so you think he'd be like you know what you're good you don't know they would have to come up with evidence to do that right so it's not like just selling something if they can prove it right that you would need it totally yeah yeah, right but but it's like but what what right you can say whatever standard of proof do you need though that's my question yeah so that that's why it's up to the it's them saying it as well as our healthcare. um the the, so the guys like that'll pass eventually pass the the merc pill Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are the ones who will also be approving these sort of things. To- totally. But yeah. it's like, but it's like when I said the catching, which is like 70%, mm-hmm. it's like it protects you from catching COVID by 70%. Right. But the severity level is the same. Mm-hmm. So it, you're, again, you're framing the information according to the data that you want to use to prove your argument. Yeah, they can prove, but they can say what they want. Like it's also our system too, right? So, for instance, like right. our system is the one also like stopped. We should stop using AstraZeneca. To- okay, totally, totally, right? totally. So totally. it was the same thing, right? But, That's but, why. But then, why are we? Why are we even entertaining the conversation of mandating vaccines? Mandate meaning. You have to take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not like, not like. Oh no! No, yeah, that's a different. That's a different scenario. Right? They're not the ones who are saying mandate. Who? What do you mean? Uh the ones who are approving vaccines or not. They're okay. not the ones saying right, right, right. mandate, right? But that's what The I'm, mandate is coming from people. The government. Be, because their system, because of the system. So that's why I'm saying now we're going crazy because it's like we're not, we're not looking at alternate solutions. We're just like, we're just, you know, the definition of insanity is you do the same thing over and over and over hoping for a different outcome. Mm-hmm. This, we're insane now. Yeah, so we're this is, again, this like is what I'm saying. Like this, this, this affects the 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 government that's in office right now right so which oh, would be they might get voted out you're saying. yeah okay true right so like a lot of people are pissed like in, even in, even in america uh joe biden doesn't have good numbers oh really yeah, yeah. interesting i'm not paying attention to america like their polling this. numbers of for him is not good like okay. less than trump interesting so yeah. <laughs> did, did you see the um did you see the republican was it already what are we here did which one? democrat or republican that's canada right no, that's America. Well, what are we? Liberal and conservative. Oh, conservatives. Okay, so the conservative party said we shouldn't divide the country mm-hmm. with vaccines and people shouldn't get fired just mm-hmm. because they didn't take the vaccine. When I saw that, I was like, I'm voting conservative. Right, yeah. And I'm like, oh, it, it's shifted me. Remember what a huge, like, Trump fan, um, not Trump, <laughs> you know, fan I was? Because I was like, oh, this guy got us legal weed. He got a Serb. But now it's like absolute power corrupts absolutely. Like, what if he had won a majority government? What so, would we be looking at? Right. So I think it... Um, it wait, wait, it's, it's all... I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll say it it's more like this. How does a leader handle, uh, like, these types of situations? Right? These types of situations don't come a lot. You, oh, you uh, mean the, these, the um, pandemic? These pandemics or, like, this natural disaster or, like, some, totally. this, some sort of... backs f- against the wall. We show you, you show your true colors. That's what I'm saying. So, like, when he passed the weed and stuff... There was nothing really oh, going on at the time. I see, I see, I see. He's like, he's like, so yeah, now I'm it's a more guy, like, whatever. Yeah. So now it's oh. more like he's got a lot of things to deal with. Maybe he can't yes. handle this stuff. Dude, ooh, that, that's why he broke. That's why he was like, oh, these people are racist. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you saying this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, this is not how you talk to your citizens. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're, you're totally segregating a whole yeah. 
bunch of people. And then I saw this morning, like, it was really funny. So, um, on a different social media channel, they were like, oh, the health minister was considering mandating vaccines, right? And then they, and if you swipe, it's like Trudeau talking about, he's like, well, what do you do if you're immunocompromised? What do you do if like your religious beliefs mm-hmm. won't allow you to do it, right? And like now, and then the caption was like, like what, like what do you think we should do? Because it's like, you're going against your own word mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Like you, you said like Canada doesn't do that. We don't force things upon yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And now your health minister is considering like mandating it. Right. Like what? Yeah. So, yeah. So like, but, but I like what you said about the stress though. Cause it's <laughs> like, that's why I like jujitsu because you see who's going to cheat. Who's going to act like, like if it's too hard of a role, yeah, they're the, going to be like, there's, there's a line for that too. It's like how, how you adversity shows you who you yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I don't know if he can handle this, right? Maybe like, not. Maybe he's cracking into the pressure. Yeah, or yeah, he's just and, letting other people. And we don't. Even he's know. letting the provinces do it. He's not saying anything. He's just yeah. letting the provinces do stuff. He's like, it's too much for me. Mm-hmm. And and one other thing that I found very interesting is like, in the beginning, I remember him and his wife got vaccinated together. But then I stopped seeing his wife getting vaccinated. Were your kids getting vaccinated? Like, okay, well, that's no, just... no, 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 I, no, totally. No, no, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I, I, I get your point of being like, well, that's there, the privacy. But I'm like, no, but if you have a stance. No, no, no I'm not saying a privacy or oh, anything. Okay, I'm yeah. just saying like, I don't think that's necessarily yeah. an issue. If if he is saying that and if, if his reporter finds out that his wife didn't get it a second or yeah. like a booster and everything. So that's hypocritical right there. That's what, that's what I mean. Yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. But we're, we're, we're jumping to conclusions without no, no, knowing I, no, no, the facts. I'm right. saying like, as a marketing PR person, I'd be like, you should put your family on, on display. I'd be like, no, we're solidarity. We're all mm-hmm. doing this. We all believe it in my sure, family. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't do that. So mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, internally, are you receiving some blood? Well, I'm sure they did. Like, I'm, if you look it up, I, like... His, if, his wife is also a yogi, like... <laughs> so, meaning she's, like, into natural, spiritual yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like... Yeah. Although that's also an assumption, you know. But, yeah. like, typically, yogis are very, like you know like right yeah yeah yeah, keep everything natural so she i wouldn't be surprised if she's like i don't want to get it yeah i don't i don't think so i would (laughs) we well we should google that yeah you just google that um i'm not i'm not saying that either way because wouldn't you find that hypocritical did your children get vaxxed well yeah that's a good way to attack him so if people who don't like him would be probably showing wanting to show that right i know but but why is nobody else why is nobody else seeing this seeing what like like these logical arguments like well they are right but it's it's one thing it's one thing they they are though right oh, what yeah. i'm saying is it's the system it's not it's no, not no, about no. covid anymore right? totally total, total, but but i'm saying like why are, why are certain people getting blowback for like my my opinions are fringe now but i'm like no these are logical questions yeah no if you listen to the radio oh, you're not in the fringe oh really eh? yeah that's what i'm saying like oh, okay, this is who okay, I'm, okay. I'm listening to on the radio and they're like okay but but i'm saying all right so totally while well, you're listening to the radio but like in my relationships i'm like kind of the weirdo now I'm well like, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. because like, everybody else has gotten it right it. no i get it because right? everybody else has gotten it you're gonna look like that that's fine but i'm saying that you're it's it's uh um like uh in general it's not in, it's, it's, in general um i'm not a weirdo yeah so, no, right, cool. good, good to know thanks man. <laughs> <laughs> well at least in the radio and the talk shows that i Cause, hear because i'm looking at the comments now it's like, not like that in, in the beginning when we were getting the vaccines, like I looked at the comments on the vaccine stuff and it was like, mostly people were like in favor, like 90% of the comments were like, yeah, pro-vax, pro-vax. And then now they look at it, it's like 90% of the comments are like, why am I going to keep going at this mm-hmm. thing? Yeah. Makes no sense. Yeah. Like the data is not showing me anything mm-hmm. to make me want to do this. So, so I, I was saying to you like last night that I think when we get out of COVID, there's going to be so many books that are written on like the psychology behind what's going on, like politically and like socially. Yeah, there was a lot. It was, it was an interesting time when it happened, right? Because yeah, uh, there's a lot of different types of like Trump was in office when this first happened. Yeah, totally. Right. Yeah. And I had the other, there was other types of leaders around the world that are handling it very differently. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And this is that's why there's a big story okay. around this right? okay so like so trump th- lost because of this but more people technically have died under biden now oh really why because of the no, just the number of deaths that happened overall oh but he percentage blamed, wise he blamed like trump right no 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 no. what i'm saying is no, no no the first amount of deaths that were happening when trump was in office now that biden has been in office there's more people have died during his it all makes sense though it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah no no time, i'm, I'm yeah. just saying like there's rhetorics to this right so it's oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's <laughs> like like how you want to frame the 
MMA, yeah. how you want to look at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Did and like, I mean, like, even with that, like, tr- yeah, Trump did cause you know, a lot of people to question the vaccine, right? And he's that, the one freaking getting it. But he's the one telling them everyone to get and to get and, the booster. And they boot him. <laughs> so it's like, okay, I no one. Like, I remember I said, like, I was like, just asking in my family chat like these questions to my mom and she's like oh are you a trump anti-vaxxer i'm like bro did you know that trump got fully vaccinated and he has the booster like what do you mean i'm not a trump supporter now just yeah, because yeah. i'm questioning things you right. know it's like you didn't even keep up with that mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's mm-hmm. like the news cycle the media it's all like based off of fear mongering and like short snippets of data yeah i would say yes for for yeah for media news yeah yeah, and it's like for like TV news or whatever. Yeah, broadcast news. But but nobody's paying like the majority of people who are traditional media consumers. Like, yeah, they're only going to that. They're only going to the segments to watch a few minutes of it, right? And then when you're like, oh, I listen to or talk like shows, the headlines. Like, I don't know anybody who listens to talk shows aside from like you and WAP, <laughs> right? Like in in the morning, like yeah. the AM radios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like. If you don't diversify your, it goes back to the Leo DiCaprio thing I was saying in the movie. It's like. Like, are you only speaking to scientists that are pro climate change? Are you looking at the other side? Because mm-hmm. that's what I'm trying to do. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm looking at both sides. I'm like, which which side do I agree with? Mm-hmm. You know, and well, we're still pro vaccine. I'm pro vaccine. I'm still like, pro vaccine. I think you should still get I think the two. That's the, I'm that just that like, I don't know about the booster. Like, I'm not sure. Sure. Yeah. Like, if you want, that, I feel like the booster. I, is I, I don't think it's for everybody. Which is the booster? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's optional. It's like, if you want to take it, go ahead and take it. Yeah, but I, like, just, yeah I'm just saying, like, it's more, should be more recommended for older people, not necessarily yeah. younger people. <laughs> but but it doesn't it doesn't help or harm you either way. You want to do it, do it. No, no, no. Drink no. a glass of water. Drink a glass of water. No, no, I get that. I, no, 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 that makes sense. But I'm just saying, like, like, there is a reason for boosters, but not necessarily for everybody, right? Yeah, right, right. No, 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 I... I I mean, like, I'm going back to the fact that we are still pro-vax. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But just the booster is the one that's, like, it seems superficial. So Mm -hmm. it's, like, that should be optional. Mm -hmm. But when I see things, like, mandating it, Mm -hmm. like, third shot, Mm -hmm. like, Quebec being, like, we should make full vaccination status three shots. Like, what? Yeah. That makes no sense. And then, like, you're going to make it four, and then you're going to make it five. Well, we don't know that, (laughs) but yeah. But Moderna already being, like, hey, we should look at four. It's, like, okay... Yeah. Or like aren't the they doing home. already four for uh, old folks long term so it's like okay what are we doing mm-hmm. you know like are we just doing this because we're so confused as a species i think that's what this whole thing is really showing us that we are still I... confused animals like we we like looked... doing the boosters or doing no, no, no. I, I think i think that there was a separation prior to covid that people would look at politicians and be like they're the best of the best like they we okay voted if you did that no, no, you're... it's true though like we voted for them like no i get that it's, it's an alpha male competition yeah but then th- but that's not how i get that i understand that but that's because you don't understand how politics works then you you've fallen for no, no, the, but, but, the popular game you you fall you fell for the popular game, game. yeah no yeah. i know but like if you, then you don't you uh, like that's generally what's that's what has happened right where people just fall for the popular game but they don't understand how politics right actually works like like fun fact. like to get things done they just you know what i mean like like within the within the office or whatever right so yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah they like, can like for example like i think the thing that broke it was trump won yeah <laughs> I mean, and trudeau was a high school teacher yeah so it's like what's going on mm-hmm. you know like we're not even picking the best of the best anymore we're just picking. It, it is a popularity contest, and I think that's that's what this thing really showed us. I think yeah. Trump winning was a big, like, eye opener because, mm-hmm. like, oh, anybody can be president, you know. And I think COVID also made us. It, it was also an eye opener because, like, oh, we're we're just gonna follow any media. Like when people were like, oh, sheep, sheep, sheep. In the beginning, I was like, what do you mean sheep? Like this data makes sense. But now mm-hmm. that it's like progressed further, and then we're into like boosters, I'm like. We are kind of like sheep, you know. Yeah, but I don't. I the wouldn't media say said this. So I'm like, okay, the media said that. Yeah. Okay, so all right, let, let me bring let me bring up my analogy, and I want to see what you think. So I was talking to this dude. I think he lives in Denmark. 
Mm-hmm. I keep I keep bringing up this guy because he lives in another <laughs> other world. So I, I but it's always good to get a person's perspective from another part of the world. So. Yeah, totally. So yeah. I, I said like, oh, it reminds me of like Nazi Germany. He's like, oh, that's kind of a far stretch. And I was like, yeah, it's hyperbole. But but you know the term obedience to authority. Mm-hmm. Like it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. so basically it's a, and people who don't know it's like a psychological term where if I wear a uniform, you're going to trust that, yeah. and you're going to listen to me, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's obedience to authority. Mm-hmm. Do you know where that originated from? Nazi Germany. Because okay. they needed to explain why these Nazis were killing others. So basically, after World War II, there were like trials, okay? Yep. Which is going to be interesting going forward because will there be trials post COVID? I don't know. Because, like, for the egregious actions that were taken, like New Zealand, for example, you know, or right. Kazakhstan. I saw what's going on in Kazakhstan. Yeah. That's great. We'll get into that. So, um, so like, so they were trying to explain post world war ii why these these generals killed all the jews mm-hmm. right and they're like oh it wasn't my fault it wasn't my fault i was like listening to my boss i was listening to my boss and like yeah it's obedience to authority you were told to do something yeah. you trusted them so you did it yeah so that's that's basically what sheep do that's like that's the sheep mentality right mm-hmm. and i feel like we're we're falling into the exact same thing so when i said oh, it reminds me of Nazi Germany. And he's like, well, I don't think we're at that stage yet. I'm like, but it's obedience to authority. Nobody's questioning anything. And the people that do are considered crazy. Okay, yeah. Do, do you see the parallel? Do you no, agree? I, I understand what you're saying. Um, well, I don't, but as I'm saying, like, I don't think it's, it's, uh, there's a divide in where, like we thought people who are not getting the vaccine are crazy. So they're just, continuing with that framework to anybody for a booster without right but that's that's obedience to authority because you're obedient to what the media is saying you get three yeah but i think with the with whatever it is right now i feel like we're in the majority like our, our opinion yes maybe yeah we just don't we just don't, we just don't feel like it is but it is okay because our immediate circle may not be but it is in the general sense yeah because maybe. that is what's happening like you can you can see that there's a change in the radio like the people who are calling in and how, how how they're talking it's okay it's because it's not just the person the host of the radio talking he's like people call in okay right and you can see that there's a change okay and people are not liking that's good yeah, yeah. so i think that's why i said it's like it's more it was different before right no, no, I eat totally. Before I mean, the now. vaccine. No, no, no. Totally. But the, I mean, that's what I mean. Now, it yeah, seems yeah. Like I'm saying now. Authority. It seems like Nazi Germany. Like in the beginning, is like, no, this no, makes now, total no, sense. no, no. What I'm saying is now is people are uh, disagreeing and talking about it's, it's the system problem that's been broken. That is not, it's not COVID right now. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So that's what people are saying. Oh, so they're realizing it. Yeah. Right. No, totally, totally. For sure, for sure. On that medium, on that channel that you're talking about. Mm hmm. But what I'm saying is the general populace, I don't know if it's hitting them. I don't know if it's hitting them. I think That's it an is. actual question. I think it is. Because like seeing other family chats like that are going around, it's like, I don't know if people actually understand the situation anymore. I think it is. I think it is. Media. No, I think th- with people who have families and stuff, like other like kids and stuff, especially with the school situation that's going on, I, I feel like it is. Um, okay. Um, it is more uh, being heard, like especially when when like I mean they're reporting on like oh sixty percent of staff shortages of nurses, right? Causing so that's but, causing this. But that's being reframed. That's the healthcare that's being system. reframed though as like oh it's because people don't have their shots. No, by the pol- no by the by the politicians from what I'm seeing. No, no, Trudeau no, because because like, in that it's more about because they're uh, first of all it's um, it's the staff getting catching covid mm-hmm. so that reducing it also staff overworked is causing that so like that's 60 percent of 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 nurses or in the healthcare that are this is a reason for this but but if you have you watched lockdown totally or, I, I agree yeah. no, i agree if you look at the data that makes sense mm-hmm. but the messaging so there's a difference between like the data and the messaging mm-hmm. right so like if you look if you objective that's you why that's data, why you have to look at actual news <laughs> right but but that's what i'm saying i'm like how many people are actually looking at actual news but that's where the actual news is right that's what that's what journalists are meant to do no no i i 100 percent agree with you yeah. i'm just saying like is the general populace not looking at that so they're just watching the segment where 
Like, for instance, just Ford. They're just watching the segment where he talked about, and they're going into lockdown. They're just watching that. That's what I mean. Right? And then but you, did you see the end segment where the reporters were asking them questions? But they don't put that up. But yes, we have to watch that stuff, right? And, and that's what and I mean. read actual articles. I 100% agree with you. I know. But then that's that's when the people that are reading actual articles, mm -hmm. watching the end, are considered crazy now. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're just watching, you're literally just watching the snippet of when he said, oh, it's because of the anti-vax people who are like overrunning our system, get boosted, get boosted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, but that's not true. Like, you're... Like, here's a question. If a tree falls in the forest, did it make a sound? Well, yeah. Okay. All right. So you're saying, yeah. I, I read this in a book and I was like, this yeah, is yeah. so genius. I, I, the answer I've was, heard this. Yeah. Wait, wait, the answer was from Neil deGrasse Tyson. How do you know it fell? All right. Right. And well, that's true. Because unless you know, unless you were there to see it, it wasn't real. Mm. So it's like, whatever you post on social media is what we see and that becomes our reality. We right. Didn't okay, see gotcha. I got part. what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? So it's like, if a tree fell in the forest, did it make a sound? It's like, did the tree actually fall? Mm -hmm. You don't even know. Right. Because it's not a part of your reality. Yeah. Things are only real once you've seen them, mm -hmm. you know? But if I, if I conveniently cut out the Q&A portion and I only put forward section... Mm -hmm then you're going to think what he's saying is the 100% truth. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean. It's like how many people are looking past or like digging. And this isn't like that guy. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. One guy who like, who brought up that, I had to like block him, that BJJ dude who mm -hmm. was like, oh, did you see the court cases? And then you looked into it, you're like, this has nothing to do with like the whole, because he was mm -hmm. trying to be like anti-vax. And he's like, oh, uh, he cited like these crazy court cases. And it's like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but that's not what this is. I'm like, we're we're looking at the data that's being presented on the news. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, I mean, yeah, we're not that... digging for freaking cherry pick data here. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, you said this, so this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, this what they're saying on the radio, at least the ones that I'm listening to, is that it's not. This is not a COVID issue. This is a, as you said, a healthcare yeah. system issue right yeah. now. That's what we're dealing with. So we're then, not dealing with the COVID issue because that's not. So, that's, so then, so my question, my next question becomes: Do you think it's fair to force people to get vaccinated because you can't fix your healthcare system issue? Um, it's a good question, right? Because then it's like, yeah, where does the onus lie on forcing the people to do something? Because then, if you start going down that rabbit hole, it's like. What other things are you going to force? Yeah, but it's not actually changing anything, though, as you said, right? What, the vaccine? The booster. Oh, the booster, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just chances of you catching it, but not... The severity. Uh, not the... They're not reporting on the severity. You know why? Because it's basically the same. They are, though. They are saying that but, it's... No, no, but, but I'm saying, like, the, the, the thing that they keep saying is 70% less likely... 70% uh, less likely to catch, catch COVID catch if you have the booster. Okay. So I'm like, and then that clicked with me last night. I'm like, what is the 70% everyone's talking about? Like, oh, catch COVID. Yeah. But you're not talking about the severity of if you have COVID. Yeah. They're not, they're conveniently leaving that part out is what I'm saying. They're not saying, oh, the booster will actually no, cut I don't your think severity they, by quite a bit. No, but I, w I would think that it would be the same. So for instance, the your chances of catching it 70% less? Yeah. Okay. So you're seventy percent more protected. If yeah, you I, I get what you're saying. Like, just chances of you catching it is seventy percent less. But if you do catch it, it's but if you do identical. catch it, right. So what the hell? Was but the that point? is what they're saying. I mean, no, that no, is what I've I, read. That Omicron is less severe. That's what no, they keep no, saying. Totally. Yeah, less yeah. severe. But but I'm saying the numbers that are being thrown out all the time: seventy percent if you're boosted, less likely to get COVID. So it's just not a, a lie. It's not a lie, but it's it's omission. So I'm saying you're not giving us the full amount of data. So we're all looking at 70%. Like that's what my family keeps saying. Like, oh, you want to be 70% 70 more protected? I'm like, yeah, but what about the severity? What if what if you fall into the 30% mm -hmm. and then they go, oh yeah, well, the shot helped protect you, like make it less severe. I'm like, so did the second shot. Mm -hmm. the, bo the boost didn't do anything in that term. Y you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. yeah. So like... It's it's not lying because you're not telling the truth, but it's lying because of omission. 
No, I don't think it's if if the people are saying that it's causing less severity, then that's incorrect. No, but who said that? Nobody said that. I never saw anyone say that. It just clicked with me up last night because I was like, why is my number different than their number? Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking, remember, I was like in the friends chat that we have. I was like, oh, it's they're giving us like aggregate data because that's what I thought it was. I thought they were just like mm -hmm. recalculating it in a specific way. Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, you're talking about two different data sets. You're talking about catching and I'm talking about severity. I don't care about catching. Yeah. I care about severity. Yeah, they. Like, why would you care about catching? Like, oh, you're seventy percent more protected, but you still die. So it's like, who cares then? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like. Well, I think it would have been already known that you're not going to be as severe because it's. But they it's, don't want to tell you that because they want you to get boosted. But that was already what was said from those two shots, right? No, no, but yeah, totally. the boost is to not catch it. Yeah, totally, totally. But which is still true, right? Which is true, but they're still not giving you the full data set, which is. Like it's still not going to be severe, guys. Chill. No, but what do you mean by full data set? That we. They do say that Omnicorn is not severe. Yeah, but, but I'm saying the marketing surrounding the booster. The marketing surrounding the booster is, is it's a slogan, right? Totally. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's why all right, it's a slogan. And if we're all being guided by slogans, mm -hmm. right? Because that's, nobody's looking at the actual data and the yeah. people that are actually looking at the data are considered crazy. Yeah. So it's like your slogan, your marketing messaging mm -hmm. is tailored in such a way as to force people, as, as to manipulate people into a specific direction. But if you said, hey, 70% catching it, uh, you're 70% more protected from catching it, but it's okay if you do get it because they're basically the same outcome. They're not going to say all that because they want people well, to get boosted. Well, there's too many words, right? But they want to get, because they want people to get boosted. Yeah, because they want less people to catch it. Right, but if you do catch it, the severity is basically equal. Right, but the point of the le if it's if it is seventy percent less catching it, that means those are not people that are coming into hospitals. Okay, but but still, it's like right. Is the point was to not get more people into hospitals? Yeah, but but even the hospitalization rate isn't that high with two. No, no, no. I and I know, but I'm saying that the point was to reduce people coming into hospitals. So if seventy totally. percent of people are not catching it, for sure, for sure. Okay, so I'll I'll give you like a a personal right. story. So like. My, I won't name them, but my family members caught COVID. The kids were all okay. Mm -hmm. My aunt and uncle, they went to the hospital. Not because um, they needed to, but out of worry. Because they're like, oh, could this thing turn? I don't know. So they like yep. sent them to the hospital. So when they went to the hospital, they got IVs to like um, rehydrate themselves. Because mm -hmm. they were dehydrated. They couldn't mm -hmm. eat. They were like yeah, throwing yeah. up and stuff. So then, um, so then they didn't have the vaccine at that time. Yeah. Right? But they survived. They went to the hospital. But then like all the other people I kind of got lost in my story because I got so upset there. <laughs> um, so then, so then the other, the other people are um, like are double vaxxed and they didn't, they didn't end up going to the hospital because sure. they're like, Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah. So within those two data sets, I'm seeing people who aren't vaxxed. All right. For some way or another, they had to go to the hospital. But the people that had two vax, none of them went to the hospital. Sure. So anecdotally, I know it's anecdotal data, but mm -hmm. that's like looking at if you're looking at statistical yeah, yeah, yeah. data, yeah. my point of view is still correct. Looking at anecdotal data, my point of view is still correct, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So like I noticed that the people that didn't have the vaccine, even though they didn't need to go, they went to the hospital. The people that had the vaccine did not go to the hospital. Okay. Yeah. Which is aligned with the data I'm seeing. Sure. Yeah. So that was with the. I understand that, but because of the the rate that this is going, mm -hmm. if what they're trying to do is prevent more people to show up in hospitals, because you're still going to have a percentage. Okay. So that's why they're doing that. Totally. Right. right that's right, why they're doing right. the seventy percent to protect you from not catching it. For sure. Because okay. the the rate that this thing is spreading is super fast. For sure. For sure. Okay. But but it's still fear-mongering to get you to do something that they want you to do until they mandate it what do you mean like that is the, the message mandate, that you're trying to do is to government no no no. what they're trying to do is to get people to vaccinate so it's 70 percent chance of you're not catching it boost or, talking about boost. or the boost i'm talking about okay, the boost. No. so so that's the messaging they're trying to tell people to do yeah but right now you don't have to do that and until they make it considered unless they make mandate but but this is what i'm saying if yeah. they do that 
I think we should all worry because now it's like, what else are we going to make us do? Yeah, is it? The, my point is that's what I'm saying. It's not a COVID thing now. It's an actual system thing where the system can't handle. Total, no, I agree. potentially the system can't handle more people getting it. Right, and, and this is why I'm worried because if it's so, it's a not system, a COVID situation. Totally, and like it's it's the catalyst is COVID, but it's it's the it, system it, can't it's handle a, that it's many more people of a going. It. Than a health, it's a health care issue versus yeah. a health issue. Yeah. So, what I'm what I'm worried about is if you do make it like the standard is three, mm -hmm. then it's like, okay, you're not looking at any data. You're just trying to get us to fix your problem. Yeah, fix the healthcare problem, yes. But that's your problem. But in terms of freedom, like when you consider mm -hmm. freedom, mm -hmm. freedom is all about health, mm -hmm. right? Personal health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So forcing me to do something in order to fix your problem, that's not freedom, that's totalitarian government, right? Sure. It's like, it's like China for the good of our country, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, okay, but what about my personal choice? Mm -hmm. Are you going to admit that none of us have personal choice anymore? Are you going to admit that freedom is an illusion? So by mandating it, uh, what they're generally, what we, what we saw with the mandate with the, with the two shots, you just, you couldn't go to public places. Right. But we found out that it's not true. That doesn't work. It didn't work. We're in lockdown three. Yeah. It didn't work. Yes, this is with the new variant. Okay, but still it doesn't work. It, it doesn't work because it still passed through people who had the shots. Yes, with the, this is with the new variant, right? No, but even before, even before with the Delta, they still had people who, like, yeah, this one's more transmissible, mm -hmm. but they still found that people who had Delta could still pass it even if they had the shot. Right. I don't, yeah, and they I guess it was, it too. sorry? They could still catch it too. Yeah, you could still catch it, but I think it was still less, right, or something? Totally. Irregardless, yeah. it didn't work. Yeah. Well, I don't want to say it didn't work. I just... So, so it, didn't, I, it didn't... Is it is it because of the, the Delta, or is it just because of the new variant? All right, I'm, I'm going to say this. The brand promise... Okay, so okay, you're, you're giving us a vaccine that was created for the Alpha variant. Sure. They didn't modify it. Yeah. Right? They didn't modify mm -hmm. it. It's still the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're trying to use an old solution on a new problem, and then you're, based on and, based on and you're trying to also use an another old solution on a new problem. No, is right? is yeah, the but it's two based old solutions are the vaccine and lockdowns. Sure, it's but it's based on the science, right? That the vaccine does still work. Yeah, but in preventing course, severity. Of, yeah, of, of course, but yeah. it's like, but you're using old solutions on new mm -hmm. problems mm -hmm. see what i'm saying like at least the vaccine you for, mean like lockdown yeah or you mean shots and lockdown they yeah did, they didn't work like they promised well if it's 70 percent not catching it isn't it no it, it didn't work like they promised because they promised that we'd be out of it if we just got, took the vaccine right what happened to herd immunity okay what, what, like we hit 80 mm percent -hmm. a bunch of people got covid where's our herd immunity yeah, yeah. didn't work Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. It didn't work. Yeah, it was based on old variants, right? Exactly. Not based on new variants. That's what I'm saying. You're using old prob old solutions on new problems. That we have a new variant, which is a new problem. Sure. You're using an old solution, which is the old vaccine and the old method of locking down. Yeah. So the two are not. They're they're not like you're using. I don't know how to say it. You're using an <laughs> old solution on a new problem. Sure. So how can this work? How is this logically going to work? Uh, if does it prevent hospitalization, or does it prevent, or does it slow the spread? Like, sure, it might slow the spread, but it's like, again, it's like you're not being innovative. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I and right know, now, I don't know how to give a better. Yeah, I, 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 no, I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to argue with the other way, right? Just, but but it, but do you see well, what, what I'm saying, saying like is you're, using, you're literally using an old solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 I know, I know. Like, I get it. Yeah, oh, yeah, it yeah, doesn't, yeah. The vaccine wasn't created for Omicron. The spread isn't is more transmissible. So lockdowns are not even going to lockdowns might help, but you're not locking down everything. Mm -hmm. Like why are hair salons, <laughs> massage places still open? Like if we're gonna lock down, we're gonna lock down everything. Right. Right. Like right, really right. Yeah. So it's not really the old lockdown then. Yeah, you're, you're just, you're just. It's a new type of lockdown, right? It's, it's a, it's a. Um, I'm just saying that. <laughs> no, it's, right, it's, it's a no, no, because, because they did, because they did, 
do that with the other lockdowns. Mm-hmm. They they released hair salon places before gyms, so they went to like a different. Okay, it's still in the same stages, but they just like they went. So like, opening up gyms came after hair salons because I right. didn't go to jitsu till hair salons were already open. Mm-hmm. So it's like you just went to a different stage within that lockdown. Okay, like your pain yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the full yeah. step two. It's, it's a, a modified, it's a modified step, step two. two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like that. That obviously didn't work the first time. Oh, well, it might have worked the first time, mm-hmm. but this is a different transmission rate. Right. But again, you're reverting to something. That's what I'm saying. It's not. A, you know. But again, it's not the same COVID. We're not dealing with COVID right now. We're dealing with the system. So, no, no, right, right. Issue. It's, not, it's not the same COVID. But then, why are we doing the same lockdown? Yeah, it's a system issue now. Totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm saying, like, why did you choose this course of action? To get more people boosted, so seventy percent of chance not getting it. Yeah, but it's like that's that's not. It, it it's not full. It doesn't work. It's it's not. Because people, well, the thing people is, still, is still no, 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 I understand that. I understand. Jackman, no, 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 I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I get that. Um, uh, it's a system issue. It's and not the COVID. <laughs> it's it's a crazy person issue. It's you're seeing that they don't know what's going on and they're trying their best. And there's incentives on both sides. No, I, yeah, I, I think I specific think specific things. Why didn't you lock down hair salons and massage places? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you? Right? Right. Yeah, because, because you're being swayed. Like, something told you not to do that. They're following whatever the healthcare person is saying to do. But at the end of the... Right. right. But at the end of the like, day, why would they, they have just... the final choice. No, but they have the final choice. At the end sure, of the sure, sure. But I, I'm but sure they're like, probably... But I'm more likely they're listening to them. Right, right. But, but right. It's, like, it's like, why? why did you... So, like, like why would they close down gyms? There know. might be a reason for that. D- totally, totally. But it's like, it's like whatever data I give you is going to skew your decision making process. Mm-hmm. If I tell you, if I frame something in a specific way, it's just cherry picking data to choose whatever. Well, you that's want. that's the point of getting when they say an expert's opinion, right? Yeah, but who's the expert? You, you know what I'm saying? It's like the you, one that's who's the health no, no, minister. I, 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 or I'm saying like you have to be screwed. You have to scrutinize your expert. It's like, why are we? Well, that's why are they're looking at multiple healthcare experts. Are usually at one healthcare expert. No, they probably have a team. Okay, but but if you're if you're a hammer, everything's gonna look like nails. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, your, yeah. your perspective is already skewed in this one way. Mm-hmm. Is your team fully built of people that already think like you? Is it groupthink? That's another psychological term that was created um, for uh, the Apollo mission. Right. So like they went to the moon and then. They saw there's a problem. Nobody brought up that this problem would occur. So then they had like a malfunction, and then they they now created this thing called a group thing because everyone thinks the same way. So they purposely put one person, mm-hmm. which would be like you, who like says the opposite of what everyone's thinking, just to force everyone to look right. at the other thing. Mm-hmm. But are they doing that? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I mean. That's yeah. what I mean. It's like it's it's like, are you considering this objectively? the most scientific way possible, or are you biased in your decision-making process? Yeah, so, yeah, that's why these people could get out of office, right? That's the way that totally, the, yeah. the, the, this game, democracy game works. So as people were pissed with the school situation, that's why, I think that's why this, it's not officially said, but there was like internal talks of possibly bringing back like um, high schools, rolling back high schools. Right. This is the way that how people reacted. That's why he's reacting or he's changing the rules. He's like, these people are actually so mad at me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then what does that tell you? That tells you that this person is biased in his agenda because you weren't listening to the people. You just decide. There was an open letter, 500 doctors mm-hmm. being like, mm-hmm. Don't close down schools. Yeah. Close down schools. Yeah, like yeah, like come think on, about right? it. Like like when schools were open, or when they did come back open, everybody was saying, or not everybody was saying, but there were like some people saying that it might uptick the uh, the numbers. Did it? No, it went down. So, so saying? it's not a school thing, right? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So yeah. why did you close them down? 
there's an agenda. It's the, that's that's what I'm saying. The point was the healthcare. It's the system. No, right, right. It's not COVID anymore. Totally. But, but what I'm saying is like... Is that our system can't handle... Right, right, right. But, but I'm saying... All right, all right, all right. Totally. We're going to agree. It's a, it's a health care. Yeah. I mean, keep repeating that over and over. And over. Totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. But what, I, what I'm saying is I think that I think that what COVID is also showing us is the, the deficit in decision-making ability from our leaders mm -hmm. because you were told a specific thing. You listened to yourself and you came on TV crying, like saying, like I'm trying to afford yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. we need to lock down schools. Nobody's going back to schools, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. But it's like, but you had 500 doctors telling you. So of your team, of your quote-unquote expert team, right? Because you said they have experts. Nobody was from that 500 doctor team? Because there's 500 doctors there. Right. Telling you, don't do this. Mm -hmm. But your expert team, which was cherry-picked to give you specific data to help you do what you wanted, told you, go ahead and do this thing. I don't think it necessarily do what he wanted. I don't think he wanted a lockdown. We don't know. No, no, no. I don't think he wanted a lockdown. Because why, why it's, it's, just, it's just a losing game. Okay, so, so then if he didn't want... He would have... You so, know what I mean? So then if he didn't want, a lock, if he didn't want the lockdown... What's the, what was their original plan? By this time, there wouldn't be any more um, vaccine card checks or whatever, right? Uh, March. Yeah. Okay. March, but there was something else in uh, January to happen. I think. I, I too. don't know. What, I, I don't guess. remember. But it was. It was. Everything's uh, supposed to be gone in March. Yeah. So that was the original plan. Yeah. And so, then the numbers went up. Yeah. So, so if if it's not, if he didn't want the lockdown, then it's not. He's following what. That's what I'm saying. He's he's so following what the. It's, huh? it's it's a biased agenda. It's like the people giving you your information are poorly picked. Uh, I don't want to necessarily say that. I think they're they're telling him like the amount of cases coming in. Uh, our hospitals can't handle all this. Okay. So he's reacting in that way. So do you think you think he's just choosing the most pragmatic approach? Which is yeah, it's a lockdown. He's like okay. Yeah. If you're telling me this, like, yeah, because sort of like it's sort of like if you were the president and they're like, hey, a bomb is about to explode and mm -hmm. we're going to kill millions of people. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my god, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. So you think he, he, just, he doesn't want to do a lockdown? So I'm sure he doesn't want to do a lockdown. So you think he just but it, it's because a pragmatic approach? Yeah, because it's, oh, I don't want also to collapse our healthcare system if this is what you're telling me. You know what? I'm gonna say I hope that's the case. And I I'll, hope that's I'll, the case. I'll believe that's the case. <laughs> I'm going to choose to believe that's the case because that's the most altruistic way of doing it. No, he really cares. He just wants to be as pragmatic as possible. Because if the other way is too scary, mm -hmm. if like he's getting kicked back, so mm -hmm. like something crazy going on. I just don't on, think like, so. Yeah. That would be a big scandal news though. That, would be that a is big true. Scandal news. Yeah. Yeah. Because the plan wasn't to do any more lockdowns, right? Yeah. That That's what plan. I'm saying. His, this is not what he wanted and he knows this is not a good look for him, especially that his election is coming up. Mm. This is not how you want to end your position like you're okay you know what fair i will i will choose to believe that <laughs> because that is the most positive outlook yeah okay he's he's not he's not he's not misinformed he's not dumb i don't say he's not i say he's not misinformed i'm saying maybe the the team his health care or the the ones that are telling him so he's going based on what they're telling him right right so and he's just choosing the most pragmatic approach yeah that's why he's re already reacting, or this is what they internally is saying, is that why they're trying to bring back high schools. So it would be a rolling, okay, rolling uh, openings of schools. So, okay, then then explain this to me. All right, so so all right, Ford's off the hook. <laughs> you get my vote, but I don't know if I can forgive Trudeau's. Yeah, statements. Trudeau is not doing anything. Okay, no, 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 he's his, not the his, one. You no, know, his statements about the like, oh, they're ignorant, yeah, that's a dumb, that's racist. that's dumb. That's not the way you talk to people. Yeah. I don't know if I could forgive that because, like, that's something you actually said. Yeah, I see. Specifically said that. Yeah. So, what are we doing? That's but not a good way to talk he's to your sister. <laughs> so, he's Batman. So, like, he's like the billionaire son, does oh. boxing. Although Jagmeet Singh does wrestling, so that's kind of cool. Maybe he'll get mm -hmm. my vote. 
I don't right. know. Yeah, he's been quiet because he's got a kid recently, right? Yeah, yeah. Where's that's, why, that's why he's not in business. Booster, nice. bro. <laughs> Come on, Jamie. Get your booster. How are you doing? Yeah. All right. I think uh, we'll move on from... <laughs> I was going to type a vaccine injury. There are. They're coming out now with, like, myocarditis, the uh, period thing that just got released. They're, yeah, I wonder if those are... Pre- remember the beginning? I was well, like... I wonder if those are preprints, or if you don't know what they exactly mean. I'm, I'm, no, but they're, the FDA is putting a warning label on them. Yeah, but I don't know about the one you just said about the menstrual cycle thing. Yeah, I don't know about that. That just came out. Yeah, I don't know, I know about the other things they're putting. Yes, the um, myocarditis. But, but remember in the too. beginning when they were like selling us that it's 100% safe? So I was like, yeah, just get an mRNA. Like AstraZeneca, yeah, you'll get blood clots. So don't get that one, just get an mm-hmm. mRNA. But then it's like, oh, actually the mRNA doesn't have, it's not foolproof. You know, it's like, so I heard this once and I was yeah, like, but not, this is true. It's, it's as an age group for that too, right? That's but why. But still, but still you. Yeah. Like it wasn't nothing in the beginning because it's. No, no, no. Uh, the, I don't want to say nothing here's, in the here's beginning. the crazy part. So I heard this doctor talk, well, he's on Joe Rogan, the, the major expert in America. He was like, we are in a current research state. Mm-hmm. So of course it's going to seem foolproof because there's no research out. But now that the research is here, it's like, oh, this is actually not foolproof, guys. But then, how does it make you feel to know that? Well, it's not. It's, so, so a lot of these research. things, yeah, a lot of these things show up um, like really early on once you've got the shot, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, so that's why, like, very quickly, how they figured out about the the blood clot thing for AstraZeneca or Johnson and Johnson, right? Um, so the system is was doing good in like catching these things and telling it to the public, right, as quick as possible. So these things are coming out. Uh, there wasn't anything. Cr- Concrete, like time. concrete or like severe. That's that uh, about uh, these vaccines or about the mRNA vaccines. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That are like to that level, right? right. And only yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Right. So like that's something like blood clot was killing people, right? Versus like like right away. And, yeah. Yeah. And so like linked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then there's nothing uh, necessarily killing people from the mRNA. Well, but now they're finding there is. Yeah, but again, it's it's not like the amount that they were getting from the blood clot situation was no, more is, is more insurmountable. Than, but yeah. what I'm saying is like, how does it make you feel? And them? it was be- I think it's now is being more because it's more with the because they're uh, it was eighteen plus or twenty plus whatever it was before. It was there's not showing up oh, in yeah, a lot yeah, of those yeah. people. It's, only it's younger, showing in yeah, people yeah. younger, right? So the younger people are getting their vaccinations now. Right, right, right. So right. that's why. But but. My question to you is, how does it make you feel to know that we are being a research guinea pig, like the anti-vaxxers were saying? And I didn't believe it at the time, but now I'm like, actually, you're right. We are in an active research study. Yeah, no, I, I think this is the biggest uh, mass vaccination around the whole world that we've ever done. Yeah. And it's no, proving... It's active research. I'm saying no, no, I, I, I get that. Research. But it's, 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 it's proving the, the science, right? So it's not like... There was studies. That's not like there wasn't any studies coming into this, right? Right, right. It's not like they were just jabbing people without ever doing any study. No, I, I, I know, but like the just just the idea that we are a part of a mass erasure thing that was not actually fully, yeah, like yeah, that, that, that's why those reports are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we jumped right in because, well, I mean, whatever. The no, data, no, the, 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 the risk. The no, 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 no. I get that, but the risks of with 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 COVID and getting oh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. more risk of getting myocarditis with COVID than there is with the yeah, vaccine. Yeah, yeah. So. Right. It's like right, right. It's, it's um, opportunity costs. Right. You know, you you choose one thing, you're going to lose out another thing. Yeah. Like we were just weighing our options. Yeah. Which is what I was saying in the beginning. That's why we're pro vaccine. It's mm-hmm. like if you just weigh the options, it seems more advantageous to get the vaccine. Sure. The only thing I'm saying is with the booster, I'm like, I feel like I'm being marketed to. Sure. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're gonna move away from. How how long has it been? Hour and twelve. Okay, I got a little more. I got a little more. Um, <laughs> so this this one's quick. So did you know that? So I read the Steve Aoki book. Steve Aoki, okay. the DJ. Yeah. So his father, in you know Benny Hanna, have you heard of that? It's a major Chinese restaurant chain. Okay. So you know the fire, like they make like the onion rings and they put the fire in there. It's like a volcano. You seen those videos, right? Probably. I don't remember now. Or like yeah. it's like a flat table and they like. Okay. All right, so he made his father built his fortune doing Benihana. Um, 
here's the crazy part. So I watched Wolf of Wall Street recently, and they said, you know the banker that was laundering the money for the wolf, um, whatever his name is, Leo DiCaprio's character? Mm -hmm. uh, he actually got caught laundering money for the Yakuza for Benny Hanna, <laughs> for Aoki's father. Okay. But nobody... Like, they said it kind of quickly, but to find out that Stevie Oki's father was laundering money for the Yakuza, mm -hmm. it's like, they, they say this thing, like, you can't get really rich without breaking a few laws. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of like, maybe that's true. Well, I mean, right? not necessarily, I, I just don't think it's necessarily true all cases. Sure, there are some cases. Yeah, it's a little weird, though. I thought that was kind of odd. I was like, because Steve Aoki's really famous now. It, it's like, it's the book Outliers that reminds me of. Mm -hmm. So Outliers, it's like, nobody is, like, people who get famous or, like, make lots of money, whoever do anything, it's because of a series of events. Basically determinism, right? You sure. were in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And it made me think, like, is Steve Aoki famous because he had the money from his father and his father, because I thought Steve Aoki's, you know those like stories yeah, like, of people those that things build can. themselves up? Yeah, it's networking, right? Maybe someone's networked yeah, so to someone yeah. else. Yeah. It's like, did you have a connection with the Yakuza? I mm -hmm. don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They just said it in Wolf of Wall Street, and I was like, oh, Aoki, I read that. His father. Mm. Yeah. Just something to put out there. Um, before we get to our final thing, <laughs> uh, which is CES, I just want to say that I've been recently watching j cole interviews and um mm -hmm. remember i'm like all about kendrick lamar i went back and i listened to both both rappers kendrick lamar is still the better rapper i know you don't really like him but um this is pretty intense so j cole actually graduated university mm -hmm. with like a high gpa right and he chose to go into rapping because he loved it more but like he studied communications, which is basically marketing. Mm -hmm. And in his interviews, he was just explaining how the world works in terms of like, oh, these are advertising dollars. I'm on this radio thing to sell my record. Yep. You're here because you're being paid by the advertisers. Mm -hmm. And he said this one thing. I was like, this is very interesting. We're on the plantation still. So he's saying it's just like slaves, overseers, and then the owner of the farm. Mm -hmm. That's basically economics. You have the person on the fries. You have the manager that's above the person on the fries. You became just a little more. So you're like, hey, you're at least not on the fries. You're overseeing that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have the owner who's overseeing, getting a piece of everything, mm -hmm. you know? And it's, it's funny because it's like mind-blowing to people for people to hear. But when I heard that, I was like, yeah, it's basic like business. We all know that, right? Yeah, yeah. But just like the vaccines, it's like, who's looking into that? You know, we all like look at our lives as like, this train that I'm on, oh, I'm going to go to school, get a job, get a house, whatever, whatever. But it's like, where do you fit in the pecking order of things? And then if you know too much, doesn't that kind of freak you out? Like Leo DiCaprio being mm -hmm. like, the world's going to end because of climate change. Right. Yeah. It's just fascinating. And he reads a lot of books too. Kendrick Lamar doesn't read books. Oh no? Yeah. He's just like, I don't want to pollute my mind or something like that. I was like, that's kind of <laughs> weird. Like, I like J. Cole. He's like, because he does the same thing as me. He's like, if I hear about a cool book, I'll write it in my phone. Then I'll go buy the book and then read the book. I was like, yeah, totally. Because mm -hmm. books hold cool information. Just want to put that out there. Yeah. All right. Final thing, CES, go. You've been watching it. I watched a little bit of it. I still want to watch some more. Um, okay. Anything but it was, a, it was a mix of um, in-person as well as online. So a lot of the keynotes were online, I believe. Oh, okay. I'm going to call this episode CES 2022. Okay. So, even though we spent like an hour talking about COVID, <laughs> people be like, oh, see, I, see, I want to listen to this. Bait and uh, switch, marketing, bro. There was some interesting stuff, uh, like the like the BMW and the E-Ink color change. Dude, that's crazy. That was kind of cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, there, it's, generally, CES is filled just for, there's like, ran, like concepts, and mm -hmm. there's sometimes things that might come to release. Okay. So it's generally just to see how consumers react to certain products certain oh that makes sense hence consumer electronic show yeah. it's like yeah okay yeah. so how is the public going to react to this kind of thing should we put more money into this 
Yeah, it's kind of like a is it getting trail. is it getting an attention? Is it like good media? Like is it yeah, yeah, is yeah. it sort of like media around it too? So it's like is it getting good media attention? So that means it's something. Maybe there's something to it that we can continue on with this. Okay, okay looking at the business aspect of it, like just because yeah. of J Cole mm-hmm. was saying, like you know, plantation. Um, this is an interesting thing because we look at it like an event, but really what they're doing is like, should we continue to invest more money? Is there mm-hmm. any? Like these are all just prototypes. Like which one? is going to land me the most return on my investment because if I invest more money into this new product, mm-hmm. people will buy it. I'll get yeah. more money in return. Right. So even though we're looking at it like, wow, you have to realize that these are all just prototypes. All right, go ahead. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of them are just concepts. I mean, never ever come to yeah, yeah, yeah. fruition, but maybe like certain ideas. But they're damn like, cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but even, like these are the s- small, like, I don't know if I don't want to, I don't know the percentage, but maybe it's like, 40% of it is that, right? Like all these random things okay. of, of tech. But like mainly what CEO is, is a TV show. CEO? <laughs> I'm just, I'm CES? U- CES is a TV show. So What's, like I'm just oh. using that in quotes because uh, I just took that from The Verge because it's just, it's showing off all type, like different type, new technology for TVs to come. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, like... They have so many more like different types of TVs or yeah, like yeah, yeah. that. That's mainly like where CES was big on that. Because remember, like like um, the, the previous years, like, TVs. Yeah, the, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, what there was, was an ones? LG TV where it would uh, hot, like uh, liquid TVs. like a roller. It would just hide yeah, yeah, away yeah, and then one. come out. Did they re show that one? I think they did that last year. They showed that one. I think you yeah, can yeah. buy that one. Oh, really? Now. Yeah, but that was like a concept maybe a few years ago. So if you're not familiar with what we're talking about. Um, one, go back and listen to that podcast episode or two, uh, basically it's just a, think of like a pull down screen, Mm -hmm. like a projector screen. Mm -hmm. So they've somehow made the technology in a way that you're able to like wrap the TV. I don't even know how that would work. It's just a, it's like an, it's like, I don't know what kind of OLED TV, OLED type, uh, but we already have that, but we have like phones that are foldable now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So it's like he's using the same kind of tech, but, but it, on like it rolls scale, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's very, very expensive. Um, do, so you that, remember, do you remember that Nokia phone where it was like a wristband? That would be the same concept. Oh, right, yeah, but that was that not was even evolved. concept. That was just... It was just like an image. Like image, just like, a, yeah, like an idea, but not... Uh, wouldn't concepts have like some physical like prototype, prototype yeah, right? Yeah. But this is like way more than that. Like it's not like even the thing. This is like um, it can't be CGI done yet in reality. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. This is yeah. You know, this is a right, drone. If you don't know what that was, it's basically like think of a ruler or those slap bracelets. Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. like a slap bracelet that was actually a phone. So like instead of carrying around your phone, you'd slap it around your wrist and become a bracelet, and then yeah. you could unslap it, and then it would turn into a phone again. And suppose wasn't it like also expanding and yeah, yeah. contracting? I was like, yeah, yeah, that's great. Or, or if you wanted a pattern, you take a photo of the pattern, and then it would <laughs> create like that yeah, pattern yeah. around. Yeah, it was interesting concepts, that one. But, like, so it's mainly filled with TV show stuff or TV products. Yeah, okay. And then um, then you'll have these 40% of these little little toys from, like, different uh, kinds of companies. Okay. And then and then we have the cars and stuff. So that's that's the new thing now, especially with the EV situation going on. So, so what was the uh, the BMW thing? I think I'll so, post a video of that later. So BMW was just showing off that a new, uh, like e-ink they called it so where it, it, it would change the color, the color uh of the car so like i think it was just going from black and white i feel like i'd be so like um uh, i mean indecisive it's, every day i'd have a new color I'd be like ah, today i feel like this well yeah 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 and i think i think you can have like also like based on weather outside right temperature oh no way so it'll if it's oh. white it'll reflect more versus oh, when it's yeah. black Makes so sense. like like that kind of stuff is there um It'd be cool. Then you can like design your own stuff, right? You can have your yeah, own yeah. images on the sides of the car. Totally, yeah. So I thought it was pretty cool, but I don't. It's just concept. <laughs> did, did you see? Oh yeah, um, you did see SNT the um, the robot that was like, oh, what's your name? What was it? What are they? The engineering. Engineer arts. Engineer arts. Yeah. So they brought their robot there. Yeah. Damn, and, bro. That's yeah. Cr- that's crazy. <laughs> I hope that somebody. Uh, I don't even know, like. Like, what would you turn that into? A mm-hmm. slave robot? You right. know what I mean? Like, what yeah. would you, what could you possibly do with that robot? I think it's more of, like, I, I think of like iRobot, I guess, like doing our work for us, but did, they look like us now. Did, did you know that I heard this somewhere? I can't remember where, but like, 
the sex industry is like where a lot of technology gets funded. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, right, right. Like that. that if it can, if it can make it into the sex industry, it's like you can you have more of a uh, mm. likelihood of it being purchased, right? Mm-hmm. So imagine if they just turn them into like sex robots. I'm sure there will be. And then from there, you turn it into like what was that show? Remember they had like a show about that. Like Black Mirrors? No, it was Black Mirror. Well, yeah, there was a show in the UK about uh, being. Robots. It's called being, not being human, or humans. I think it was. Yeah, I don't remember, but yeah, that was having androids. Yeah, yeah. And then you can do anything with that. That's so trippy. <laughs> that like the the realism for that engineered arts robot was so scary because it's like I don't even know. Like, do you think it would, like, dehumanize violence to you? Like, let's say you hit that robot, right? Well, that was the question in, like, Video how... games and stuff. Yeah, like, even Rain was trying to answer that, right? There, there are people who are probably going to... Abuse like, the robot. Abuse them, yeah. There will be those types of people, but they will probably would have already abused humans, too. True, fair point. Right. Yeah. We talked about that already, right? So, it's just like, like, how do you treat your car? Like, <laughs> right, 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 right. I think they, they even showed... There was a uh, study on that, like video games don't increase violent tendencies. No, I don't remember the exact study, but I remember, yeah, this is like, a, an that. old study, but yeah, they don't. Yeah, because whatever you're going to do to another person, you mm-hmm. would just do, mm-hmm. regardless of yeah. like, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm. It'll be interesting to see those things walking around. Yeah, we're a long way from that, but yeah. <laughs> or could you imagine like door door? Uh, door greeters you know like um okay yeah yeah, yeah. like bellhops or whatever like you enter a hotel and they open the door for you like Mm -hmm. have a great day what if that's just a robot i could see it i can see that yeah and it's like 24 7 Mm -hmm. because you wouldn't need security it it doesn't need breaks yeah yeah exactly you don't need security at that point it's like it'll scan you because it's like um like i'm sure if facial recognition becomes a thing and we don't need masks anymore, it's like, it's like you'll walk in and be like, Oh, your room is on 1222 or something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I could see that you won't even need to check people anymore. Cause the robots able to like scan your face and like tell you which key card you're right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Automation is the future, man. Mm-hmm. Like, especially with the engineered arts thing, like having to do away with, like, it's, it's weird if you see a bellhop that's like a robot. It's kind of weird. But then you see, like, a humanoid robot, it it doesn't feel as weird. Yeah. Because you're kind of, like, you're kind of human still, mm-hmm. so it still has the illusion of it being a, you know. Yeah. Uh, like you're a bellhop for a hotel, I mean. No, I understand. Replaced yeah. with a robot, a yeah. humanoid robot. That should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't see, uh, like, people would just absorb that mm-hmm. naturally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only thing that I was interested with uh, CS was Sony's presentation for the new oh, the v- VR thing. PlayStation yeah. VR Two. Yeah. That's the official name of it, and they gave some of the specs what's going to be in it. And I think it's like you you felt the sense controllers in the the haptic controller and other oh, haptic feeling in the sense controller of the PS Five. So that is coming to the VR as well as on the headset nice. itself. So like things like whizzing by your head, like yeah, maybe yeah. a bullet, you're gonna feel it. Um, interesting there's uh when we went to that spa um this in muskoga mm-hmm. there was these like like eye massagers so you put them on your face and then it like massages your eyes but i could see that being a haptic thing a mm-hmm. haptic thing later on because like you, basically it was like you put it on and these like little motors would like yeah it may be something like that because they were they're also mentioning like intense moments if the character is like feeling they will try to mimic that somehow to make you feel like maybe like squeeze your temples or something something yeah i don't know i wonder yeah do you see the uh mark zuckerberg haptic glove he's playing yeah. jenga i was like damn bro we are we're uh, yeah we're we're putting money into into the metaverse it's not like necessarily a okay, it's, okay. covid conspiracy with the lockdown doesn't it make these more desirable to go to the metaverse i don't think so no but i mean like like you or to, to lean in that direction you know like prod people would be like hey why not check out the metaverse you're stuck yeah, inside anyways i understand that but i just don't know if a lot of people want to wear vr could you imagine though like we look at the sales like let's say this lockdown extends and then we look at the sales for 
VR headsets and like metaverse stuff and it just increases. There may have been increase in technology sales now, but like in overall, like PSVR, the first one sold about 5 million. Yeah, because the tech wasn't there though. No, no, I know. But I'm saying like, I don't think, uh, I don't know if we might hit like 10 million. I don't think it's going to be a huge really? number. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And it's only like PlayStation related. Then there's the HTC. No, no, you know what it is. There's the, Oculus. The reason why it didn't hit that level is because the cost was too high. They couldn't create economies of scale. Like they couldn't, they couldn't make it cheaper. So yeah, this is the only problem right? like, with so only only problem with uh, only problem with yeah. So there's the only problem with this one is you still need the PS5. So there's two exactly. things you gotta buy, exactly. right, dude? Yeah, and uh, the extension is probably gonna be like what five hundred bucks. I don't know. With Maybe the kind more. of things that are in here, is pretty top end in in the new VR too. So we're looking at like a G. Uh, it sh- I think it should be less. We'll see. They they might put competitive pricing on it. Um, I don't know. It might be like five six. I would five, say five six. Okay, so, five six maybe. So we don't know when in, it's coming out yet though. All in, you're looking at five for a PS five five hundred. Mm-hmm. You're looking at five hundred for or. 600. Maybe like the same price. Like maybe like uh, they're trying to even it out. So you're going 500 for an extension, mm-hmm. and then you need at least 100 for a video yeah. game. Yeah. So all in, you're looking at 1,100. Mm-hmm. That's pretty expensive. Yeah, it's it's an expensive endeavor. Yeah, that's why it's only five million sold. Right. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. If you can hit economies of scale, right. if you're able to. Like, but I believe the, price. the new. I believe. I think they were saying in what I was watching the new Oculus. You don't need a PC. You just need the headset. That's cool. So that's pretty reasonable if you want to jump into isn't some like, form of VR. Isn't there also like the the products that are the materials that are going into the PlayStation? Remember, there's still like a backlog. People still can't buy PS. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, no, no, no. That's that's already another issue. Yeah, so, so like that's why like damn, they were, that's why they didn't release any pricing or the release date because already having issues selling ps5s by getting the chips and then to make chips for this thing i, I don't yeah. know if it's coming out this year they and could and but I'm, they won't have like a lot isn't the material from um the chips like the raw materials found in afghanistan Maybe no we're, we're not necessarily that. no no but like a large majority of it's from afghanistan no there's a, no no, no I, I think they were saying that there's uh oh they can bring kazakhstan Oh yeah, yeah. No, there's a large. They say they f- they found large deposits of some minerals from there, but they haven't got. These are not coming necessarily from Afghanistan, though. Oh, okay, okay. Right. This is not. That was the. That's like, is that a way that you know, uh, for Afghan to make money? Like, why? Right. Like the, right. Th- is that China coming and trying to do that? But uh, nothing has happened yet. I think. Okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of these minerals are coming from Africa. Okay. Well, still, even in Africa, like that is a very difficult like logistically how are you gonna get that what was it because of covid that's why you can't get uh it? it's not that because of covid i think it was just a lot of people um it's like hoarding it's, it's like the toilet paper situation oh no way yeah so that's what because happened they're worried so they're just yeah dang. yeah so like apple took a lot oh really yeah of course oh, i mean yeah. they sell so many thousand millions of phones and everything right so it's it's everybody and especially now with the with the ev cars coming out almost all they all have chips right they all have computer chips, so it's like right. that's almost all industries are using these. You don't be really minerals. crazy because of this like um, shortage. What if they do find that you need to mine minerals off world? Yeah, that's what I can whole, see that. Yeah, and then that's why I don't look up. Those, yeah, that's uh, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like how they they were going to use the asteroid. It was like, oh, let's worry about the asteroid because it's going to kill Earth, and mm-hmm. then it's like, oh, we can actually mine from the asteroid because aren't they're also going to like um, the moon, right? Yes. They're building a base on the moon and they're projected building a base Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. they're building stuff on Mars. Could Mm -hmm. you imagine if like, um, like, like logistics extended beyond earth and into space as well? That'd be so trippy. They find like raw materials on the moon that they can use for like microchips. (laughs) So they have to like send back freight, freight ships full of raw materials. Mm -hmm. We are fully like a, space-faring civilization at that point. 
We will have to be, yeah. If you're looking for, if, if we create, economies if you keep making products, wow, we have to. If you keep making devices, products, whatever, we're like, we're gonna have to look world. out. You yeah, know, you know what's interesting? Actually, if you look at that, um, the reason why they left England in the first place and went to like North America was because of economies. They needed more raw materials. So yeah. They're like, okay, if we just search for like spices or, you know, um, wood, like anything, they just needed like more materials to help fuel their economy mm -hmm. and their civilization back in england yeah so then they ventured to north america well they didn't mean they didn't mean to venture to north america though that yeah, was by accident hit, uh, india yeah yeah no but that was funny i was like well maybe i can go around this way yeah, yeah, yeah and he exactly. accidentally hit that's what they're called indians right so but, native but indians but like which yeah. is funny because they lucked out by doing that and then that's why they can then they just ransacked yeah totally totally but <laughs> but if you look at history as a predict like past is a great predictor for the future yeah it's kind of funny that economy is what you know everyone's like oh we're we're a naturally adventurous species it's like no we're not actually we are an industrious species mm -hmm. so the reason why we we didn't travel for place, pur yeah we didn't we for didn't meaning a purpose it was for money well yeah i mean th at that point but it was also for like food or anything these, these yeah, are all part of resources these are for resources yeah. yeah so it was just for resources and yeah. then like space is what's going to push us further into like more yeah, I think that that's captioning. yeah. I think that's so that maybe eventually not, has to happen. Yeah, we're not even an adventurous species. We're just like a consumerist species. Mm -hmm. But it, and yeah, we, like look, look at the way we structure our entire civilization. It's based off yeah. of economies. Mm -hmm. Well, anything, everything, right? So like, like going, why going into space and figuring out satellites? Well, now we have GPS. Exactly, that's what I mean. Right. So, so like, there was a the the, the original thing. We don't know the outcome, what's going to come out of it, right? Right. So we don't know necessarily what's going to come out of then making base on the moon and figuring right. out all the, about the materials. There's potential for right. that to happen, but we don't necessarily know. But, it's still, but it's still a leap, it? right? But, but what funds it? It's not altruistic endeavors. It's a return on investment. The, the, the reason why um, Christopher Columbus, uh, who like... He went, he, he convinced the queen, yeah. like, I'm going to make money if, like, I go on this adventure, I'll bring back more raw materials. So she's like, here's my investment, give me a good return. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure, like, like SpaceX, there's going to be... Well, other places, yeah, other it. places, I believe he went to the, Columbus, we're talking about Columbus? Yeah. I believe he went to other countries and agree with him, I think it was... No, I know, yeah. He, was, he had to go around. Yeah, yeah he had to go uh, convince uh, different countries to, I mean. to allow it, him to do that. It's all about the return on investment. Yeah. Think about any business endeavor. It's like, hey, I have this great idea, fund me, and then I will give you a proper return yeah, but on we investment. Don't, but it's, it's still a risk, right? Because you don't necessarily know. Of course, know. Yeah. yeah. Of course, but yeah. that's why you need... I was saying this to before, it's like, you need a good pitcher. You mm -hmm. need a good salesperson. Yeah. Sales is, at the end of the day, like that's how you bring in money to any organization, mm -hmm. sales. And sales are just like a good storyteller. Yeah. So like for, for like SpaceX mission, maybe to go to Mars, but how do you get to that point? No, no, that's the public mission. No, no, no. That is, that's a public mission, but it's also like, how do you get there? Cause they still have to, they're still a business. Yeah, yeah. Right. So how do you get your business to get to that point? Yeah, totally. So they, they're doing, Buy -ins. sorry. Buy-ins. Yeah. So people are using them now to put, you know, satellites it's, and all that stuff yeah, up totally. there. But and, and they're saving money by reusing these rockets. Right, right, right. So we all we always have to remember that, like, with every business endeavor, there's always a public-facing message and an internal-facing message. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure Elon Musk went to those investors and was like, hey, I can get your... Um, satellite up here for a cheaper, for a cheaper cost. cost yeah. Right? Why? Because I'm going to create re reusable rockets. Mm -hmm. Right? But then public-facing, he's like, look at this amazing initiative that humankind can do. That's a public facing. Yeah. But in reality, he's like, I'm going to serve. Well, you, you can have interest. both going on, both happening, right? So like no, no, now, yeah, now sure. with their own. But it's all about framing. Yeah, yeah, but people should know that, I think. But like now with the with their own satellite internet. Yeah, Starlink. Right? Starlink, yeah. so. There's an. That's so funny, dude. There's, but, okay. But. Okay, so we did it. We looked at that. We looked at the exact same principle, which is like two messages, public facing and internal message. For like SpaceX, because that's an that's a positive altruistic thing. Mm -hmm. But how come it's considered like 
conspiracy conspiracy theorist to say that about something like COVID. Me being like, there's probably some commercial interest. There has to be some commercial interest. They're making money. Yeah, but these are technically leaders you can, you know, vote out, right? Yeah, but just like in Dope Sick, you got a kickback. Right? They like they left the FDA person, approved it, left the mm-hmm. FDA, got mm-hmm. a job at um, Purdue. Right, yeah. These are other sort of That's things what I mean. to so do. It's like, yeah. there's, a, there's always a back-end deal. Mm-hmm. But if we look at it like... If if we if it follows the generally accepted narrative, which is like we're talking about business, so of course it's a back end deal. But if we're talking about public health and safety government, we can't bring in other theories because that's not following the generally accepted narrative. Yeah, because or else we're, you're considered we're, a conspiracy because theorist. it's yeah, yeah, because it's not supposed to be happening, right? It's not supposed to be happening. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. When these do come out, then we have stories like dope sick or stories like yeah, to, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but why are we not proactive with these things? Because we never get anything done. <laughs> because <laughs> if you think that people are always being nefarious, then yeah. you're never going to do None anything. Nothing's going to happen. Like, oh, you're probably trying to cheat me out of something. But it's mm-hmm. like, okay, so you'll never move forward. Mm-hmm. It's like a leap of faith. Yeah. All right, la- all right last thing. Last thing, because we brought it up and we didn't cover it. Um, I don't actually know the full story. I just saw this thing. Uh, Kazakhstan. They're not letting people take money out of the bank because. Okay, of... I don't know about that. Oh. Uh, so these are these are recent things, I guess. These okay. recent, more recent events, probably what's happened. The reason that the riots were happening was because they they said their government said that they can't uh, cover the cost because they had a cap on the price of diesel or some something like that. Okay. So the so everybody was paying a, like a lower rate. Okay. They said we can't we can't pay we can't cover the rest the government can't cover the rest that okay. they used to have so then they removed the cap so the price of that went up okay right that what to the actual price it was so everybody was like well we can't they're they getting a subsidy from the government they were getting yeah there was a subsidy to the so like the, the businesses people, regular to, people don't have to pay as much that's right yeah that's what you mean by cap that's what yeah. i meant yeah so now that they removed the subsidy then the price went up to what it actually is so they have and to pay for everybody's price. pissed Oh, okay. That's so that's on. what started it all. So I don't know what has happened now. There's, I guess, some crazy riots going on that they asked for Russian-led forces to help. Oh, interesting. Um, you know, help okay, with I'm going to go with your things. one because the one that I saw seems like a conspiracy theory now. The one okay. I saw is that they can't pull their money out of the bank unless they're uh, QR code or vaccinated. So I don't, I don't know. Oh, I don't I don't know. I didn't read anything like that. Okay. Because the original story was the reason that they were rioting against the government. I was, don't listen to me. That, uh, I, <laughs> I saw that on like uh, Enlightened Goku and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Is that what you meant? I wasn't sure what you were no, going to No, I don't think it was. Thing. It wasn't related to COVID. It was related to the, the price of oh, gas. Okay. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. But I mean, like that could actually happen like relating back to the healthcare system. Mm-hmm. If we do break it, we don't know the ramifications. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, there yeah. might be bigger riots if the healthcare system breaks. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. But I believe you, Ford. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> Look, fit as a fiddle. He got boosted. So. He got boosted, yeah. <laughs> cool guy, cool guy. All right, until next time, um, invest in SpaceX. Yeah. yeah. He took the risk. I think he got AstraZeneca, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, who? Ford. Ford? Oh, I was for boosting? Sorry, no. Um, the first two shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about Elon. Look, like, even, even the, the when they were saying the second shot to switch it to Emory, I think he still got... He's brand loyal. He's, yeah, he stuck with AstraZeneca. What about the boost? Did he I go, think so. Do I don't, don't quote me on boost? that. Hmm? For the boost, is only mRNA, right? Oh, man. Not brand loyal. <laughs> well, it's not... There's no access to... <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Saline, bro. Saline. So it's just salt water. That's what you think. <laughs> No, no, no. Just kidding. All right. Until next time. Tasty fish. Peace. Bye. Bye. All right. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all those fun things. And check out our sponsors, Zenro Clothing Co., Portion Bakery, and Podbean. Tasty fish. Peace.